We're back with another edition of Bug Fixes. And if you have today's bug, the question you might ask is, why are changes to my Redux store not triggering re-renders in my React components? So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so if you're having this bug, the chances are that you're missing kind of a key idea of Redux, and that is immutability. Immutability is a key component of Redux because immutability is how Redux ensures that your state is always updating correctly. What does that mean tangibly though? It means that you're usually gonna be storing your state in an array or object, and when you make updates to state, instead of updating that array or that object directly, you actually wanna make copies of them. So by using the spread operators or by using object.assign, if you wanna be a little bit old fashioned, you can ensure that the new data is immutable, that it's not updating the old data set, and you can ensure that the changes trickle down into your React components. So if you're having this problem, I'd say in 70 plus percent of cases, it's going to be because you're updating state and you're not making it immutable. So that's the answer, but I think it's worth exploring a little bit more why you need to use those spread operators when it comes to objects or arrays when you're making state updates. And that reason has to do with another feature of JavaScript that is also a source of a lot of bugs, and that is pass by value versus pass by reference. So I'll give you an example in order to explain this. Let's say I have a variable called my name, and let's say that that is Peter, that's a string. And then let's say I have another variable called other name, and I assign it to my name. Now, if I update other name to Michael and console log it, it will be Michael. And then if I console log my name, it'll still be Peter. And so that is because that primitive values, so think Boolean string number, are passed by values. So what's happening is that I'm passing the initial value of Peter to the second variable when that value is getting assigned. So think of it as they are basically completely independent, but they happen to have the same value. Pass by reference, on the other hand, is the complete opposite of that. So let's say I have an array, we'll call it array one, and it has numbers one, two, three in it. And then let's say I have array two as a variable, and I assign it array one. So if I make updates to array two, it will also update array one. And that is because arrays and objects are passed by reference. So what's happening is that they are referencing the same place in memory. So they're referencing actually the same data. And so if you update one, it will update the other because they're really looking at the same place in data in memory. And so that's really the main difference. And that is why it's necessary to use the spread operator when you're updating state is because you want an entirely new copy. And if you just simply make an update to an old array or object, number one, Redux won't trigger because it's expecting immutability. And number two, you're updating old data and you can't ensure its consistency. So at the end of the day, you need to remember number one in JavaScript objects and arrays, arrays or objects are passed by reference. And number two, if you're using Redux, you need to make sure that your data is updated immutably. That's all for this video. If you're still here, you might like the rest of my channel, which focuses on software engineering and self-employment. So consider subscribing. Regardless, thanks so much for watching to the end. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.